Welcome back to part one of six on how to build like six figure portfolio. So part one is called the investment plan. Before you start investing your money to grow that wealth, you have to make sure you got investment plan. So let me begin. Let me keep it simple. You should go back and look at your bank statements or your expenditure for the last couple of months. You need to do some smart budgeting here. So what I'm trying to propose is look at what you've been spending, that what you do not need. Trim off all the unwanted um, expenditure. It might be a gym membership. It might be a car that you've been paying loan every single month sitting in the garage. It might be insurance or a mobile phone bill that you've been paying but not using at all. So perhaps you should trim it down. And the next bit is also you've got loads of stuff in house that you can build cash by selling things that you do not need. It might be a camera. It might be... Uh, you know, a bread maker, or it might be something that's worth money to someone else, but not to you just now because you're not using it. So once you've started trimming all the expenses and making sure you've got more buffer to do additional savings, then perhaps you should start going to the next step. For the next step is trying to build two pots, the famous two pots, I call it. One, it is called emergency funding pots. And then the second one, it is called the investment pot. Okay, let me begin with the emergency funding pot first. So for the emergency funding pot, it's basically money that you can set aside for at least 12 months if you do lose your job tomorrow. If you lose your job tomorrow, you've got emergency funding that can pay for your expenses. Maybe your kids' tuition fees, maybe your a mortgage you need to pay, or even food bills that you need just to keep yourself going. Okay, emergency funds you know, God forbid that you do not lose your job and you can, it can help you pay for expenses like, you know, your car broken down or a roof leak that you cannot claim insurance for. So this is what emergency funds are for, things that you really, really need. And then when you've got that all stocked up, you can actually start on your investment part or you can even start it simultaneously. Investment part is basically money you can risk, money you can take a risk, not a gamble, money that you can risk to grow your wealth. So money that you can you can go investing in top funds, index companies, and no emotion. If anything happens on your personal life, you got emergency funds to back you up. And this investment pot is there for you to grow and grow and grow. Some of you might be lucky that you've got lumps of money saved up and now you're ready for investment. You've got big capital of investment and also emergency funds. You should also consider putting money again every single year. This is important when you come to part four of this program. So once you've got pot A ready, emergency funds ready, you've got your investors pot ready as well, and you should prepare to go for part two. You're ready for investment really, really soon. You're going to hear the journey of how I personally built my six and ongoing to the seven figure portfolio of liquid cash in my equity stocks, not including my other savings as well. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you, looking forward to see you in part two of six, yeah? All right, catch you later.